Arctic Hare. The Arctic Hare is the largest of all North American hares. It has long claws on all four feet, but these on its hind legs are especially long, to allow us to dig into packed ice and snow when it runs and to make a hole for shelter. It is also capable of hopping on its rear legs the way a kangaroo does, moving at speeds of as much as 30 miles per hour, 48.3 kilometers per hour, as it hops. When running with all four feet on the ground they can reach 40 miles per hour, 64.4 kilometers per hour. Brown or blue-gray in the summer, Arctic hares turn white in the winter to help camouflage them in the snow. In the northernmost parts of their range, they are white all year. Arctic hare facts an Arctic hare can hop like a kangaroo, using only its hind legs to propel it. Arctic hares don't only eat plants, they have also been seen eating fish and meat. Arctic hares often live alone, but they sometimes gather in large groups consisting of several hundred animals. Arctic hare scientific name The scientific name for the Arctic hare is Lepus arcticus. The word, Lepus, comes from the Latin word for hare, while, Arcticus, refers to the natural habitat of these hares, the Arctic. It is also sometimes called the, polar rabbit. Arctic hare appearance and behavior Arctic hares, along with other members of the hare family, are often confused with rabbits, but the two species, while related, are different animals. Hares typically have longer ears and longer hind feet than rabbits. The tail of a hare is longer as well. In the case of the Arctic hare, its ears are actually shorter than other types of hares, which helps it to conserve heat in the cold climate in which it lives. In much of its range, the Arctic hare is brownish-gray or bluish, but its upper coat turns white as winter approaches, though the fur on its belly remains slightly darker. This change helps to hide it from predators during different seasons. Arctic hares living in the far north are usually white all year since their environment is most often snowy. The very tips of their ears are always black. An Arctic hare is about 17 to 25 inches, 43 to 70 centimeters, long and weighs between 6.5 and 11 pounds, 3 to 5 kilograms. This is about the same size as a cat. A large Arctic hare, however, can get quite a bit bigger and weigh as much as 17 pounds, 7 kilograms, about the same size as a small dog such as the Lhasa Apso or miniature Schnauzer. The average Arctic hare stands about as high as an adult human's knees, though its ears will usually reach a bit higher than that. Though Arctic hares are often solitary and live alone much of the time, they also will sometimes gather together in groups of anywhere from six to several hundred animals, huddling together for warmth in the harsh cold of the Arctic winter. Such groups are referred to by several different names, including a down, band, husk, or warren. Hares are typically very shy, a necessary survival technique since they are hunted by many different predators. Though they will attempt to outrun a predator if necessary, they may choose to sit still so that predators won't notice them. Arctic hares can also sit tall on their hind legs, scanning 360 degrees of their surroundings for predators, and hiding if they spot one. Arctic hare habitat Arctic hares live in the very northern parts of the North American continent. They range across much of northern Canada, northern Greenland, the Canadian Arctic Islands, Newfoundland, and Labrador. They thrive in the treeless tundra found in these areas and are not deterred by the bitter cold found in these places for much of the year. Their bodies are made to withstand the low temperatures of the Arctic. These hares have short ears to help them to conserve heat. They also have thick fur, compact bodies, small noses, and a high percentage of body fat that aid them in surviving in very low temperatures. Arctic hare diet Arctic hares are considered omnivores, as their diet normally consists exclusively of plants but with other food sources mixed in from time to time. Their normal food includes moss, lichen, and woody plants of all sorts. Depending on the season, they will also consume berries, buds, roots, leaves, and bark. In addition to plants, Arctic hares have been observed eating fish and the stomach contents of dead animals such as reindeer. Since the Arctic tundra can be an extremely harsh environment, this dietary adaptation benefits the hare by promoting survival through opportunistic eating. With the longest and straightest incisors in the hare family, Arctic hares are also able to grab plants growing in awkward locations, such as between rocks, allowing them to find food where other animals might starve. In winter they will also dig down into the snow to find food. Arctic hare predators and threats The Arctic hare is an important food item for almost every predator that exists in the northern part of the North American continent. Without them, many meat-eating animals could not survive. 
Some of the Arctic hare's predators include the Arctic fox, the red fox, the gray wolf, ermine, snowy owls, and the Canada lynx. Humans are also a traditional predator of this animal. Many people who live in the Arctic hare's territory depend on hunting them for food and for their fur, which people make into clothing of various sorts. These hares are sometimes the only food available for Native Americans living in the far north. The harsh weather can also pose a threat to the Arctic hare, as it can be difficult to survive the bitter cold winter weather. This is especially true if the hare's food sources are buried under deep snow. Hares can huddle together for warmth, but if they can't find food they will end up starving to death. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please if you are enriched by our video like so YouTube can show this to more people, subscribe and share we will really appreciate it thanks.